Yummy, yummy. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, yeah, she caught me. There you go. Jennifer's been baking and lots of friends bringing me treats. I'm going to need that gym membership uh, come January. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the show. Merry Christmas. Uh, episode, mm, sorry, episode 164. Uh, did you get your shopping all done? And uh, don't eat too many of those goodies or you're going to need the gym membership like me too. Did you get out to the rock and roll Christmas concert at the, uh, still there, sorry, at the, at the Imperial Theater, the first annual rock and roll Christmas concert sold out. Wow. Amazing, incredible, phenomenal, awesome. And uh, Imperial Theater did a great job. Uh, Dan Tibble with sound. All the musicians worked very, very hard since about September on this. So congratulations to Dave Chalk and everybody involved in this production. Myself and Sarah Woodley had the privilege of being the MCs for the evening, and it was just so much fun. And yes, there is going to be one next year. That's all there is to it. Uh, thanks to my friend Kerry Belleville for sharing some of those photographs here. And Dave Chalk, congratulations to you on bringing your vision to life with the first annual rock and roll Christmas concert. Looking forward to next year. All right, well, let's go out to the entertainment scene. Things don't stop just because it's Christmas. Coming soon to Rustic Destroyer, the most amazing Kiss tribute. I've seen these guys before. They are endorsed by Kiss, and if you are a Kiss fan, you're going to want to check it out. And to tell us all about it, Stuart Manchi from Manchi Media Solutions here to talk about this and some other events coming up. Take a look. This week on the entertainment scene, our friend Stuart Manchi from Manchi Media Solutions here to join us. Some more great events coming up. How are you doing, Stu? Doing fantastic. Thanks for having me, Dave. Thanks for being here. And uh, you're a busy guy with lots of different uh, events happening. Uh, tell us what's coming up. Yeah, we've got a, a few things coming up. Uh, most uh, recently, we've uh, booked Destroyer, which is actually awesome. Um, if, if for those of you that don't know, they are the Kiss tribute band. They are see. amazing. They they're actually endorsed by Kiss. They have pictures of them and Kiss and stuff yeah. on their website. And uh, I mean, I watched. Uh, just after we booked them, I watched a few videos on YouTube, and uh, they've played like the Calgary Stampede oh, yeah, for a sellout, shows. massive, yeah. you know, ten thousand people, and they're bringing their full Kiss light up yeah. display and the makeup and all the all the costumes. So yeah, if you're a big fan of Kiss or, or a fan at all, um, they're going to be doing uh, all of the hits, obviously, and, course, and really yeah. rocking Rustic. That'll be on January thirty first. Oh, nice! And how much your tickets going to be for that? Tickets are only ten bucks, no tax. Uh, it's just ten bucks in advance. And uh, we're also, uh, those are available on ticketscene.ca. Okay. And uh, you can also pick them up at Pickers Alley or uh, um, at Rustic themselves. Perfect. Or if you go to manchimedia.com, uh, you can uh, grab tickets online that awesome. way. Awesome. They are great. I've seen them here before and a great bunch of guys too. They'll come and hang around in the crowd after yeah. and sign autographs and yeah. all that stuff. A full show. We're excited. We've got a couple of great local bands opening uh, as well. Okay. So we've just added them. Uh, we're doing. Uh, Lazy Mouth, they're going to be, uh, they've, you know, from yep, the indie great series. Group, absolutely. Yeah, and uh, also Distract the Masses. Who, awesome uh, band. Yeah. They, Recently opened up for Bob Knox this year in town. That's right. Well. Yeah, they did your show uh, back at uh, in Liquid, Liquid Johnny's. Johnny's. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, so those two uh, bands are excited to open up and, and uh, get the night started. And everyone come out early. The doors are at 7.30, and it's going to be a fantastic Perfect. show. Yeah. Well, we'll be there for sure. I know you got yeah. something else coming up real quick, uh, some comedy coming up with one yes. of my favorites. Talk about that. Yeah, February 13th, we have uh, Jeff Leeson, um, and he uh, is a, a great comedian. Hilarious. He's, yeah, he's, he's <laughs> pro, pro as they come. Uh, he actually is bringing uh, four comedians, or there's three with him, so right. there's going to be total. Uh, four total. Uh, that's at Rustic as well on February 13th. So... Valentine's the next day. Maybe yeah. bring the lady out to the night, the the, the, the day before, and sure. come on and laugh. And uh, laughter is the best gift for Valentine's. Yeah, that's right for but, sure. But uh, that'll be a fantastic event as well. Actually, for a limited time, if you buy a ticket to Destroy, you'll get a free ticket to um, anyone that buys a ticket to Destroy will get a free ticket to, to the comedy our show. Jeff Lee's and Comedy Night. So it's two uh, for one. It really doesn't get much better than that. No, they're Stuart both Manchi, bucks. Yeah. Thank you so much. We're Thanks, looking Dave. forward to having you back again. Appreciate We're going to go back it. to the studio, talk more about Destroyer coming to Rustic. Take a look.
All right, that's going to be a fun one for sure, especially if you're a KISS fan. Thanks, Stuart Manchin, for being here on the show and uh, sharing all the great activities going to be happening at Rustic. KISS coming up for sure. And don't forget, if you buy a ticket to see uh, Destroyer, the KISS tribute, you get a free ticket to see Jeff Leeson. Jeff Leeson, hilarious. I've seen him several times. Uh, one of my favorite comedians, uh, and he's, he's just, you got to get out and see him. So check that out online at rusticsarnia.com for all the details. And we're looking forward to seeing Destroyer, uh, the Kiss tribute, coming to Rustic in January. Thanks, Stuart, for being here once again. All right, well, now let's go out into the community. Tis the season to be jolly. Tis the season for uh, all that Christmas stuff. But what would it be without Christmas lights? And we were able to get in touch with Sherry Tellier. She is the winner of the Celebration of Lights uh, house presentation, her and her husband, Tom. And uh, we got down to visit them in their home and talk about their Christmas light celebration. So take a look at this in the community with Sherry Tellier. It's the best time of the year. I don't know if there'll be snow. This week out in the community, tis the season and definitely Christmas lights everywhere and the celebration of lights has picked its winner and the winner is here with us at 824 Prestwick, Sherry Tellier. Thanks for being here, Sherry. You're welcome. You've got uh, lots of uh, Christmas going on out here and it's definitely an attraction um, that you've been doing for quite a few years. How many years now? I'd say about 10. About 10 years? Yeah. And what, what inspired this? What got this this started? Why did you do all this? Uh, probably mostly starting with the grandchildren and yeah. then just people going by and hearing all the ahs and oohs. And right. Really, they most people do enjoy it. Yeah, it's definitely a wow factor when we pulled up here for sure. It was yeah. like, wow, that's so. really cool. Yeah. Um, you've got a lot of little houses around here. How did that sort of work into everything? Um, I don't know. We kind of stumbled upon a couple of them um, doing townhouses years ago, and and then Tom started finding them at um, the Bradford Exchange. Oh yeah, okay, and right. So he picked up quite a few of them there, and some of them I even got that one little one there at Greer's or the big one. Okay. And I think I paid like thirty dollars for it probably 10 years ago yeah so everything just keeps it just keeps, just keeps added. getting added to yeah. yeah now kind of a you were it's kind of interesting you know winning this year congratulations on that but you were saying you almost didn't even do this this year why wouldn't you do it well i think we got discouraged last year because we thought we had a pretty nice place yeah but then when i saw the winners and they had actually all the music was uh, choreographed right. with the lights yeah, that's pretty and cool. I thought god we got no no chance of winning <laughs> honestly yeah. I the houses were beautiful yeah they were absolutely drop dead gorgeous but and this year I don't know what happened but just decided to do it well no we ended up doing it just because sometimes you just get you know not in the spirit soon enough sure. maybe the weather yeah maybe and then we decided but you obvious I mean you have to love Christmas oh I adore Christmas what's can you tell me a, a favorite th your most favorite thing about Christmas giving Giving, mm -hmm. yeah. Whether it be gifts to the kids or um, giving people to look at the lights, yeah. whatever. I just love to give, give, give. Yeah, and you've been and doing that in many other ways. We <laughs> talked before yeah. as well. So feeling pretty good about uh, winning this year, of course. We are, yeah. Yeah. You want to give credit to somebody else? He's sitting in the back there. My husband, Tom, yeah. Yeah, Tom. He, uh, he, how long does it take to put up? You said about a day? Oh, a good day. I don't. Yeah. I, I would have thought like weeks. No, no. He actually <laughs> stayed at it all day. We started pretty early, and he does most of it. Um, I did the little garden area, but other than that, he does pretty much everything right. there, and I did the front porch, but... Well, He's out there for a long time. It's absolutely beautiful, and we're so glad that you did. And congratulations on winning. Thank you. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing what you got next year. How oh, about yeah, that? I'm sure it'll right? be better. Okay, once again, we're here and talking to uh, Sherry Tellier, and we're going to go back in the studio now and talk some more about Christmas. Here we go. Uh, amazing. Wow. Uh, I know I showed some of the video there for you of the house, but it really doesn't justify... You need, to, you need to drive by and check this out. 824 Prestwick Crescent uh, in Sherwood Village there. Thank you, Sherry and Tom, for welcoming us into your home. We had a really nice conversation about many, many different things. Uh, even after the interview, we stuck around for a bit. So thank you, Tom and Sherry, for your time there. Uh, beautiful, beautiful layout. Once again, 824 Prestwick Crescent. And congratulations to both Sherry and Tom on taking first place in the Celebration of Lights. Be curious to see what they got for us next year.
All right. Well, he didn't take a holiday from us. Mark Russell is here, and he's going to talk about Ingress. This is a really interesting one. You can do anything with an app, I guess, if you have the imagination for it. And Mark always seems to keep finding them. So now let's go and check it out. Here is Apps with Mark Russell. Thanks, Dave. How many games reward you for getting outside and exploring the area? This week, we look at Ingress on Apps with Mark Russell. Ingress is an augmented reality game. That means it uses the actual environment around you and adds game elements to it. Ingress transforms the real world into the landscape for a global game of intrigue, mystery, and competition. The game has a sci-fi theme. A mysterious energy has been unearthed by a team of scientists in Europe. The origin and purpose of this force is unknown, but some researchers believe it's influencing the way we think. We must control it, or it will control us. Your future is at stake, you must choose a side. Play as either the Enlightened and seek to embrace the power the energy may bestow upon us, or the Resistance and struggle to defend and protect what's left of our humanity. The world is the game. Landmarks and public works of art are turned into energy portals. Move through the real world using your phone or tablet and the Ingress app to discover and tap these sources of energy. Acquire objects to aid in your quest, deploy tech to capture territory, and ally with other players to advance the cause of either the Enlightened or the Resistance. The struggle is being played out globally. Track the progress of other players around the world. Plan your next steps and communicate with others using the intelligence map. More and more of the backstory is filled in each day and added to the investigation board. It's full of cryptic clues and secret codes. Unlock them and receive powerful game tech and secrets. Join the investigation. Ingress is available for free on Android and iOS. This has been App with Mark Russell. It just, it still never ceases to amaze me what you can do. I mean, I'm a pretty tech savvy guy, but I, I still never, wow, all the things you can do with a, a, a phone, like a little phone, right? You know, that's uh, got more power than what the, the, the Apollo had when it went up. Anyway, thank you, Mark Russell, for that. And Merry Christmas to you and your family, uh, Mark Russell. I still appreciate you taking the time out of the busy schedule, especially this week for that. If you want to talk to Mark, send him an email to info at markrusselsarnia.com. Looking forward to next week. All right, it's local time. Turn up the speakers, put on your goggles, whatever you got to do. Uh, here it comes. Here's the local entertainment scene. Take a look, and I'll be back. still lots going on even with uh christmas time and everything so uh, thanks to everybody who submitted something uh, an event for the local entertainment scene guide here on the show if you'd like your event to be here you know the rules send it to me two to three weeks in advance to the show at davidburrows.ws and we'll uh put it up here for the world to see for you uh just before i go i did want to mention uh say thank you to terry french down at bud gow and he had me all slicked up for the rock and roll Christmas concert and thank you Bud Gowan and Terry French for that if uh, you need some formal wear make sure you get down to Bud Gowan and say hello to my friend Terry also the indie music playlist getting uh, closer and closer to a more official launch but still in beta and you can find us on uvlog.com at uh, indie music playlist also on my website tvsn.ca some more great things coming up uh, Sarnia tonight uh, some things happening there looking March for the first episode of Sarnia tonight and wanting you to be in the audience going to do some announcing of that uh, in the first week of the new year so hopefully we'll see you back I will be back here next Wednesday New Year's Eve and then I will be out at the Bad Dog in Corona for DJ and karaoke and a whole lot of fun tickets only $15 for that you can find that online and it's just going to be a 
great new year 2015. Enjoy the rest of your Christmas. I wish you all the very best. Spend time with family and friends and uh, take time to reflect and enjoy and then plan for a great 2015. Merry Christmas, everybody. Thank you so much for watching the show, and I will be here. Uh, oh, yes. That's all the time I got for you this week. Have a great week and an even better weekend, and I'll see you next time right here on the show. Bye for now, and Merry Christmas. Howdy, PCJ News. Sorry I've been gone so long, but I've been in reporter school. Yep, that's right. It's coming up to Christmas, and uh, it looks like there's a chance of no snow, only coldness. Isn't that great? So come on down to Philly Cheese Jake's 988 Confederation Street for your own Philly Cheese Steak Sandwich or a nice hot bowl of soup or chili. I just got a message from reporter school. <laughs> oh god, I'm embarrassed. Are my ears turning red? <laughs> this is Partly cloudy, PCJ News. We'll see you next time, folks. Bye.